Hello, hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we'll talk about the right against self-incrimination. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Again, I'm Dean Rod Vera and today we'll talk about the right against self-incrimination. What is that right? First, that right against self-incrimination is based on the Bill of Rights, and for the Philippines, it's under Article 3 of the 1987 Constitution. The most important basic or basic right or human right available in the Constitution is that no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, without the due process of law. Now, what is that due process? It is, given, it is the right given or available to somebody who is being questioned meaning he has a right to know what is being questioned or why he's being interviewed or why he's being accused and to know and give and there should be a process on how that accusation that allegation is given carried out and let's say prosecuted another important bill of rights is that no one is forced to be a witness against himself and lastly one of the more primordial rights and we all know this from watching TV and movies, is that we all have the right to remain silent. So using those three rights, what is available to a person in uh, being questioned by the state is the right against self-incrimination. Usually in the U.S., that's when they say, I plead the fifth. But uh, that was just, that's the Fifth Amendment in the U.S. Constitution. For the Philippines, it's basically Section 17 of the Article 3 in the Bill of Rights. Now, what does that mean? Now... The right against self-incrimination is based on or the prevention of, you know, police torture, police coercion, meaning if there's a confession, is it forced, is it natural, or is it truthful? Now, the right against self-incrimination is based on that, uh, based on to prevent such an occurrence. We also know that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Thus, that underlying principle supports the right against self-incrimination, in which if somebody invokes that right against self-incrimination, that should not be taken against him. Why? Again, going back to the underlying principle that everybody is innocent until proven guilty. Now, why give that right? All right, when somebody's on the stand or is forced to testify, there is a very, very strong temptation for that person to lie. He has to protect himself because if, we, if he were to give testimony or give some sort of verbal acquiescence or verbal agreement or verbal consent that he implies that he's guilty, that person will naturally hide that fact. And we can't have that because we never know whether that's the truth or not. Now, using the cases listed below, I have uh, cited the cases that's relevant to this uh, issue. The Supreme Court has determined that the right against self-incrimination is not just directed towards a direct question, a direct accusation, or imputation of the crime against the witness. It also is available to a person who might give answers that might link or give a chain or a chain reaction to an actual crime. So even though that the question given is not directly or not imputing a crime, if that question is answered and leads or makes a link to another crime, then the right against self-incrimination is available to that person. Now, to avail of that right, one must first wait for the question. Meaning you cannot just say, oh, I'm going to interview, I'm going to put you in the witness stand, oh, I refuse to do that. I will, I will avail myself of the right against self-incrimination. It has been determined or been held in by jurisprudence that that right is only available to a particular question when asked. Again, using the cases cited below, that right of self-incrimination is not just available to criminal proceedings, but for administrative proceedings or administrative hearings, wherein a punitive or a consequence might deprive a person of his office or his benefits. Therefore, it becomes punitive in nature, and thus the cert against self-incrimination would be available. So, when we see all these hearings in the Senate and in the House of Representatives, this uh, later half of 2024, a lot of the witnesses, and I will not name them, uh, you can actually just search for that, uh, those videos. These people, when asked the question, they invoke the right against self-incrimination. At the same time, um, 
if you notice, since there's cases, avail there's cases filed against these people, these witnesses, the more the right of self-incrimination must be available because any answer that they give will be used against them. Now, the right against self-incrimination has been allowed not just to the question that is directly ad telling them to admit to a crime, but it's also available for a question that would admit an element of the crime. Because again, in that situation, it then would provide a link or a chain reaction, if you will, to the actual crime itself. Now, you must remember that the right against self-incrimination is a constitutional right. And under the legislative uh, powers in the Constitution, we're in the House of Representatives or the Senate, can conduct inquiries or investigations. In native legislation, there's a caveat in that rule that the rights of the persons, the witnesses, must be respected. Therefore, the right of self-incrimination is a matter of choice and it must be in the mind of the person, the witness, the resource person, where if he gives an answer and if it provides an admission or a link to a crime, then that person can invoke such right against self-incrimination. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, if you enjoyed this video or if you did dislike what I said, please um, subscribe if you will. It will help my channel grow and it will encourage me to make more videos like this. Thank you. Hi. Please do me a favor and smash that like button. It will help me a lot and it will trigger the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't, my dog will eat this exam booklet and that student has to repeat his final exam again.